to which the defendant instructed him not to because of the severity of the injury. I'm going to go get my kick. Now, if you head shot, you get your she's done. You can go get it, but that's a head shot. <clears throat> God damn it. You good? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, come on. Let her just... God, is that what you do, man? Motherfucking police officers looking at each other back and forth talking about, yo, you good? You good? You good? Now, I'm good. No, you good. Yo, I'm fine. Are you good, though? Because, uh, yo, you? Nah, you dude, I'm fine. Dude. I'm perfectly okay. What they really meant to say is, dude, I'm totally losing my job. Losing your job? You're going to fuck to jail. I mean, you're losing your job. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jen Logic, man. It's been a while since I dropped the video. Been doing a lot of adulting and everything, trying to figure out how to manage and all this type stuff. But, bro, I know y'all just seen the news and everything that was going on in Chicago, man. And seeing that Miss Massey, the 36-year-old black woman that had got shot by a police officer in her own crib. And, bro, I had seen the full footage that was on the civil rights lawyer, the YouTubers page. I'll put it in the link below and everything. But it, watching that video, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, dude. Like, uh, everything that was transpiring into that um, accident where this lady is murdered in her own house, I would just say that it's very hilarious. And I'm not even trying to be funny, but I swear to God, like, what else are we gonna do to be like, yo, like, I, I'm perfectly functional and I ain't trying to die in my own house. It's like that Cat Williams shit. I'm gonna leave the safety of my house to step out on the lawn with y'all for no reason. I ain't, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Speaking as a black man who has a brother who has mental illness, it's just funny that the police officers in my town don't even, they don't even act like none of that shit outside of Connecticut. So I'm very grateful to be in Connecticut and deal with these police officers. Um, and two, you can clearly see that something was wrong with this lady um which probably made them wired more than they had to be they felt like they was probably finding some shit when she couldn't mention her last name quick enough like why wouldn't you know your last name why can't we get the id you know you called us why are you taking so long like it was a lot of shit that made them like tweak but to be at this point where y'all motherfuckers is trained and y'all know all y'all need is a taser but y'all still pull out two gets not one of y'all niggas was like one gap, one taser, you know what I'm saying, back to back. I don't even think y'all even trained to like defend or to neutralize. Y'all trained to just mark motherfuckers. You know what neutralize means? Neutralize means to disable someone, to stop or incapacitate someone. Incapacitate does not mean kill, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't understand how y'all got these big ass words y'all like to use in the court of law, but y'all cannot understand what that shit and comprehend how to use it when it's actually needed to be applied. It's just some crazy shit. And I know Al Sharpton gonna get involved with this shit and the election gonna go off. That's just like everybody that's getting these new positions, teachers, CDL drivers, all these motherfuckers are hella untrained and they are getting these jobs based off the pay and don't care about the work necessary to maintain or even do that shit with some maximum effort and efficiency. But to see someone get shot in the motherfucking eye over some hot boiling water when y'all niggas could have threw a club shot over a taser or, you know, have one take one for the team and y'all could have beat the brakes off of is actually insane to me. It's straight up three shots. None of them shits went to the body, all to the dome. One of them hit. And they even cracked the joke afterwards. Oh, fuck, bro. Hold up. I, I, I gotta get the med kit, man. Damn. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, nah. I, you don't need no med kit when you fucking with me, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm one shot kill. One batch, two batch, penny and dime. Nigga, that's a one shot kill. Hell yeah. Back on base, they used to call me one take Drake. Long story short, though, and um, all jokes aside, this shit is actually really fucking disgusting to keep seeing. Sonia Massey did not deserve to get shot for that minimum of uh, interaction, bro. It's just crazy to see that, like, even with mental illness and, like, you calling someone in an effort to help you with an episode and you still can find yourself being shot that night. Probably didn't even get a chance to like text or call their parents or family or loved ones or anything like that. And it's just 
But you can't, you cannot put three holes in somebody's head and, like a bowling ball and expect to get off easy about that shit. You're gonna have to take that accountability, man. But I don't know. Y'all leave me y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. My fault for the delaying the hiatus and everything like that. But I gotta work, man. I need money. I need money to make these dreams come true. Oh, but my life, y'all, yo. Stay safe. Y'all really wanna know how I feel about the Mr. Show. Y'all really wanna know how I feel about UBN. They got that practice. Get on my mother.